Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian Movie Enthusiast, and this is my review of The Inspector Wears Skirts 4, a Hong Kong comedy action movie from 1992 that stars Cynthia Khan, Moon Lee, Sandra Ng, and Kara Huey. Now to save the Hong Kong Police Force's Banshee Squad from becoming defunct, the struggling new squad members, which include Cynthia Khan and Moon Lee, seek the help of former officers Amy, played by Sandra Ng, now a divorced mom with a young kid, and May, played by Kara Huey, now partially mentally unstable, to help them with their training regiment. Their police skills are put to the test when they are ordered to nab a band of brutal thugs in the city. Now, after a silly introduction, our female leads try to stop a group of bad guys who storm a hospital and shoot the employees who were about to treat their gang leader for hemorrhoids. Yes, that's the actual plot. And events occur so quickly, they're a bit difficult to follow. But if you pay really close attention, you'll realize that Cynthia Khan recaptures the gang leader while his minions escape. And from the opening 10 minutes, you could tell that this movie's going to be trash. <laughs> I mean, even if we just talk about the editing alone, it's extremely abrupt, sometimes confusing. Locations change immediately after a scene is resolved, leaving no time to process what actually happened makes the film seem cheap in terms of craftsmanship. But the question is this, is it good trash or bad trash? Now, similar to prior installments of this franchise, The Inspector Wears Skirts 4 is more of a comedy than an action movie. However, I do think that the comedy is watchable in a manic sense. Jokes are very silly here, but they're far more classy when compared to Part 3. And if you remember my review of Part 3, that... That movie had a lot of, like, sex-based jokes that just felt flat, generally speaking. Part 4 goes for a more light-hearted madness, so to speak. And as you might expect, much of the film consists of random crap that has nothing to do with the main conflict. Um, well, maybe not entirely random. Moon Lee goes on the recruiting spree, right, to find former lady cops. And random crap just happens while she's doing it. You know, shenanigans will ensue, including some scenes that parody the police story movies. And that's kind of like your act one. And then act two consists mostly of dumb training scenes, <laughs> like tennis ball dodging activities and stuff like that. There are a few funny moments, though. There are. I like the, the scene where the lady gets shot while she's in a full body cast. That one, that one made me laugh. Uh, much of this is like basic physical comedy, but I did have fun watching Moon Lee especially act so crazy. Like She's a nutcase in this movie. And you don't really see her in roles like this that, that often. Like She's she's a, she's a looney tune in this one. So that, it, it is kind of fun at times. Now we do get some action here. The opening scene is like an infiltration set piece involving steam propelled like catapults or something that like launch our heroines on top of a building and then they kill some baddies in fairly bloody fashion uh while the super cheesy yet catchy theme song rounds things out uh to make everything just seem odd this is an odd movie just, uh, uh, in some ways like the technology of the film is just kind of weird and outrageous like they have these burst boots that they put on it uses, like, steam or air pressure to let the our lady protagonists, like, temporarily fly. <laughs> like, okay. You know, and, and using that type of equipment creates some loony moments during the action. But, so you need to suspend your disbelief at times with this. But it, it is kind of fun to watch. The good news is that I would say there's probably slightly more action in this installment when compared to its predecessors, you know. Uh, there's another fight, uh eventually involving Cynthia Khan. She fights against uh, some of the main baddies, and it's a pretty good scene inside of like a boat dock area. And then there's a sparring scene between Cynthia and Moon Lee that's pretty good while they're training. Um, Cynthia's portrayed as like the more capable fighter at the beginning of the movie. And it's a little bit weird seeing Moon Lee in an underpowered role like this, since she's portrayed as a fairly incompetent leader early on. And, but that changes near the end, fortunately. Now, thankfully, this franchise goes out on like a high note at the end of this movie with arguably the best action scene of all four films. It's like this police assault on an elementary school where the bad guys have taken hostages. 
Uh, but the true highlight is like the three versus one finale against the main baddie. And it involves Moon Lee and Cynthia Khan. And it's legitimately good. You know, the bad guy is pretty tough. And the choreography is very fast and precise. So I think the film definitely ends on a satisfying note. So I would say after revisiting part four, I do think that the overall filmmaking quality of this movie, as well as the silly comedy, limits its true potential of being like a great girls with guns flick. Is it still my personal favorite of the franchise, as I mentioned in prior videos? Probably, but it's not as obvious to me anymore. You know, I think part four is in a similar a similar level of entertainment of part with part one and two. You know, and then part three is like is just not good. <laughs> but I do re moderately recommend Inspector Wears Skirts Part Four. I do. And you know, as I've mentioned before, all four of these films are or will be available on Blu-ray from 88 films. So and one of the reasons why I probably like this one, I give this one like the tiebreaker. Uh, when comparing it to the other ones, is you get Moon Lee and Cynthia Khan. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of that's brownie points right there for me. So let me know what you think of this franchise. I'm not sure how people are going to react to them if this is the first time with you watching them, but uh, I'm always interested in hearing your thoughts. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.